I don't think there's anybody in here as usual. I am going to YouTube to look at YouTube the way that you guys see YouTube. So I see what you see. But as usual, my computer is slow. And it takes a minute to get there. Today we're just doing a quickie on uh, the covers for this journal. Um, let's see. The volume is already down, thank goodness. But the chat is taking a minute to show up. Okay, so I'll wait a few minutes to see if anybody is going to join me. Otherwise, I will just get started and get this finished up. We're going to go on something in the same color range as before. We only have the two sides of the covers to do, so there'll be a little bit of drying involved today. Curly, how are you today? Hisses back at you. You're doing okay? Or have those antibiotics? I know it's only been like one dose, but are those helping you out any? I'm doing okay. I'm just a little tired today. Plus, I didn't get up when my alarm went off, so I haven't been awake all that long. So my eyeballs are still not all the way open. Sorry for the yawn. Well, it's looking like it's just you and me for right now, Curly. I'm going to get started. I'm not even going to bother with the timer today. This is the very end of it. I am just going to get going. <laughs> well, you know, that's the only way to get rid of the yawns is to give them to somebody else, right? Pretty sure that's how it works. And you may not be the only one I gave the yawns to. So this will be the last of the journaling by fives. And then we'll be on to new and different things. And I'm just going to be brave and flip this over and start again. Just uh, move that over, and then I'll dry the whole thing.
Sorry I'm being so quiet today. I'm still still in wake up mode. I promise this. I will try and get more lively as this goes on. We'll just stick with these two colors since we only have the front and backs of these to do. This white is almost toast. <laughs> All right, that's gonna have to do it. All right, I believe we have completed this task. So, I'll try to clean off this credit card a little bit and put it aside. Okay, so we're down to the blow dryer part and I am going to kill the mic for a minute. I guess you just have to talk to yourself today, Curly. Sorry. Real quick, I'll unmute. Um, hi, uh, Jules. Hi, Witchy. Hi, Kim. I am just muted real quick while I dry this. Uh, we already went ahead and got started. Since there were no people in, I just went for it. Uh, if you'll bear with me for a minute, uh, I will be right back. I just need to dry the front and the back of these. I'm doing my best.
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. There will be several um, drawing sessions today because we're doing all the steps for these covers to wrap up this whole journaling by fives thing. Um, so uh, that was step one. The covers are done. And I have paint all over me, including, I think, on my face. But I can't tell. So I did kind of red and pinky side and then a kind of black and yellowy side. And then, of course, there's always cross-contamination because that's how things work around here. Um, let's see. And I don't have my glasses on. And the chat is just going, going, going. Um, I have the same problem crafting, crafting and chatting. Curly, uh, I think it just takes practice. Brooke is really good at it. And I've seen a couple of other people that are really, really good at it. Um, and, and you could do that. Sometimes I read the chats to uh, Vima or I, I whisper things to her so that she can uh, pop up and read the chat if she needs to. I do not do uh, Kool-Aid dyed paper. That is correct. I use, I use, I use the real thing. Now, um, Kool-Aid, I've tried it before in the past. Um, I like a more vibrant color, so I don't use Kool-Aid. Um, And then I saw somebody say that they were in Laura's live, so I'm going to assume that uh, we're not talking about Witchy and that uh, Jersey Crafter was live this morning. Uh, I didn't realize that uh, she was on, so I hope that I didn't just pop in in the middle of that. Uh, and I'm going to get on with step two here. As I said um, at the beginning, some of you weren't in here. I'm dispensing with the timer today. I just don't feel like dealing with the stress. And since this is the last thingy, I think I will just, uh, I will be just fine and we will get it all done in a reasonable amount of time. It's only two covers after all. And I'm just digging through my scrap bin and picking a few things out that I want to use. Um, I'm dropping things all over the floor as usual. We'll throw some stuff on here and then I'll have to dry it, of course, because the third step is stenciling and you've got to have a, a dry palette to work with. Uh, I'll throw a little napkin on here too. Oh, paper towel since I used it on the other inside on the inside of this. I did use quite a bit of paper towel. So That's a, that's a double negative, Curly. I was confused for a second. <laughs> oh, thank you, um, Diana. I'm glad you like my paper. <laughs> it's sweet of you all to say so. Uh, there are many good papers out there. There are even some mighty fine Kool-Aid papers out there. I just personally... That's a more pastel look, and I don't think of myself as a pastel person, per se. Um, I like just a, a deeper color saturation, and it's hard to get that with Kool-Aid or um, food dye. Um, but, you know, don't knock what other people love to do. There are many, many beautiful papers out there done that way. I just prefer the color saturation I get from um, dyeing them with dye. Uh, it is a fabric dye that I use, but the paper uh, with the heat method... Um, and the soak uh, takes it the color out beautifully and there's no bleeding and you get color to the core. So I, that's my preferred technique, but I won't bash anybody if they love uh, Kool-Aid dyed paper. 
you know, however it works for you, I think that's a wonderful thing. There is plenty of room in the world for all kinds of dyed goodies for sure. So I'm just going to start gluing some stuff down. And I, I didn't bring over my little paper, my little plastic plate today. So I just have to deal with my almost empty Mod Podge thing. I will try not to put it on too thick so I don't have to spend five years drying this mess. Since these are the covers, I'm going to try and put a little bit more stuff on there than I normally have been. With the time restraints, you can only put on one or two things. But I still don't want to spend nine years, you know, working on any one step. We'll try and get you in and out today in a timely manner. I've got a little map piece there. That's fun. I will say that one thing I've learned to appreciate with the... Uh, with this method is uh, knowing that now that I've done it quick, I can see the benefit to, you know, just getting started, starting to slap some stuff down, but also um, coming to appreciate being able to plan things out a little bit. Um, I will say I don't necessarily love the effect you always get by just throwing it down without really thinking about it. But it has taught me that you can't sit there staring at the paper for, for you know, 30 minutes before you decide to even pick up the brush. So while I may never, you know, do journaling by fives again, yeah, I do think I will definitely be doing a lot more mixed media. So some of the stuff that I work on coming up, uh, maybe uh, mixed media art journaling instead of just journaling by fives. But I think this is a good thing uh, that maybe a lot of new people from in the, in the craft community should try a hand at because it does help you. It does force you to really just get in there and do some stuff. <laughs> is there a way for you to dye red and black grunge, almost crime scene looking paper. Um, you know, I'm not sure. Maybe with spray bottles. Uh, maybe I could do like a deep red paper and sp over spray it with black. The only way I could really get two papers, you know, two different colors on a paper without totally obliterating one of the colors uh, would be to dip dye like they do the tags, one from each end. But if I wanted something like that or black with red splatters, but I really think it would be uh, the most dramatic presentation I could get there would be uh, red paper with black splatters, you know, with the, uh, I could give it a try and see what happens. Um, I'm a little booked up for this month, but I can give it a try uh, in April or if somebody beats me to it. Maybe somebody else would like to take up the challenge, but I will definitely give it a shot if you would like me to. I'm always happy to try out new things. Experimenting is one of my very favorite things in the whole world with the dyes and the papers. And I've been fortunate enough to try some new and fun things that I never thought about before since I've been here. So uh, some were fails and some were turned out really excellent. And I'm going to put this big piece of napkin down and then I will come back. And maybe not quite that big a piece. Maybe let's tear that down just a little bit. And put more smaller pieces instead of covering up the whole back side of this. Get a little more. These are the napkins that I put underneath the small zip dime things got kind of a tie-dyed effect on it, which I thought was kind of fun. Don't worry, I'm not ignoring the chat. I just can't glue and look at it at the same time. Lord only knows where the glue would uh, wind up. That could be a bad thing. I started gluing on Bemis furniture. She might not like that very much. Look, I decoupaged it for you. All right. Let's stick 
back is still wet, so that may not have been a good thing. I'll just prop that up like that for a second. All right, so uh, I think that wasn't a good idea. So I'm going to dry this real quick. Okay, so... Yeah, I will give. I will definitely give that a shot. I, I may even still have some red paper left. Um, if I have some of my oopsies and uh-ohs, I will give it a shot with some uh, black dye in a spray bottle and see what comes out. Because you know we can test it on scraps. It doesn't necessarily have to be a full run. We can see if we like the effect and see if that's something we want to do coming up. I'm gonna whip out the uh, dryer real quick because these are sticking to the back of this, and I'm ruining what I'm putting on the front. So give me just a second. Okay, unmuted. I still have to do the one side, but it was really sticking bad. 
and I was losing elements, so uh, I thought maybe I better just dry it up. This one's not quite all the way dry, so I'll hit it again when I finish this side. Um, so I saw uh, Sweetheart was asking some questions about my papers, and Laura was answering. Um, so for uh, I do the wet method, I dry them on towels. Um, before I dried them in my kitchen on uh, towels, uh, I, I don't do the oven dry method because I feel like Personally, I don't like the way the paper feels after. Some people really do like that baked on crispy feel. Um, and I do like the noise, but I didn't like working with the paper when it was like that. So I don't use the oven dry method. I air dry. Uh, I put a fan in the room to circulate the air. Um, it, it is all uh, laid out and dried, but you can uh, dye the paper using a dip method and then put them straight into the oven and you can produce some papers pretty quick. Um, after I bring them out of the uh, dye vat and they are dry fully to the core, uh, do not ever try doing this on um, a, uh, I can do this, I can talk, um, on a wet paper because you will cause it to buckle and pucker and it won't be so easy and smooth to work with and it's really hard to run it through a cutter um, after I have, oh, I didn't put any glue there. It's just streaky. Cause it's just streaky white because I put white on there. <laughs> Silly Amy. Um, where was I? Uh, oh, um, and the reason I do iron and press the paper. So I iron it first, both sides when it's completely dry to the core to flatten it out and to smooth the edges in case they want to run it through a printer. Um, and then after that, I pile them all up nice and neat and I put them under heavy books and let them press for seven to 10 days. Um, that is to compress the paper for shipping, but also um, it does, uh, if something does buckle a little bit, like a lot of times I can't get the edges totally smooth. Um, then um, the pressing will take away some of that. Some of it just never does quite go away, but um that is the full process, and once it is has pressed, uh, then I start packaging it, and uh, I take the pictures, and I put them in the Etsy shop. So my process is pretty involved. I know uh, there are a lot of videos out there about uh, coffee tea dyeing. I don't know that there are all that many about color dyeing that don't use uh, food coloring, but uh, there are lots and lots of videos out there on process if you don't want to go through that many steps. Um, the schedule for my live streams are on Mondays at 2 p.m. That is either about my shop announcements. It might be a mini sale for a color of the month or a special test run I've done. Um, or if I don't have either of those things, it is just a general chat session where we come in um, uh, and not quite in the one witch and crazy lady uh, total abandon, but it's just a chance to chat and talk with people. Um, if I don't have any shop announcements, so Monday at two o'clock, Wednesday and Saturday are both uh, craft with me's or craft alongs, or you can just watch me craft. Uh, and those are both at 2 p.m. Uh, and those times are Pacific. So uh, as you go across the country, it's two, three, uh, four, and five. Yeah, I think that's right now. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Um, and then on Monday, that would be, uh, no, Wednesday is 11. I'm lying. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Monday is 2 p.m. The latest time would be 5 p.m. over on the East Coast. Wednesdays are at 11 a.m., so that would be as late as 2 p.m. on the East Coast. And Saturday is back at 2 p.m. Um, I will make it a point to start putting uh, somewhere on my YouTube channel the schedule so that people are more aware of it. Um, I haven't been going on maybe for a total of a month and a half, and I had been playing with the times a little bit, uh, trying to not be on at the same time as everybody else, but that was an utter failure. So now I just go live and I go with whoever comes in. All right. So I think we're going to, do I want here, maybe we'll throw this little, little no, I like this. I'm going to go with this because this is my favorite one that I stole from Elle's. It's a decoupage paper. And I'll put it on backwards in honor of the very first time when I accidentally slapped it down backwards. But I kind of like the way it looks. So, all right. That's the last of that. And I brought over a bowl of water. 
I remember this time. We're going to put these little scrappies back in the thingy. And then I will dry this up and we will go on to stenciling, which is step three. Yeah, um, so I know I'm not going to be the the big draw on the block, but if I just if I try and schedule around everybody else, I'll never be on. And then I'll always be insecure about it. So I just figured I'll go on and see what happens. I'm going to mute again for a moment. Please talk amongst yourselves while I dry this off. I will be back as quickly as I can. All right, I am back. That is dry to the touch. So it should be safe for the stenciling step. Let me get back over here and catch up with the chatty chats. I just brought a couple of uh, small stamps. Um, and maybe I want to grab a pink. Let me grab a pink real quick. Oof. All right, I got a pink. Uh, this one is fun fuchsia. We'll go trusty old white, and I brought out a metallic for the stamping. Let me see. Let's get into the chat here. What happened to Carla? Uh-oh, I better go back up and read. Let's see. Oh my gosh, you have nerve damage. <gasps> Carla, no. Well, I will definitely send out some healing energy your way. Um, and I will keep you in my thoughts. All down, go boom. But nerve damage is a, a big deal. That's not good.
I used to fall down all the time when we lived in Maryland. That was a good long while ago. Um, but I screwed up my knee pretty good. And I was only a teenager. Um, but I fell multiple times on the same patch. No matter how hard I tried every year. Over and over again. So we're just going to hope for the best on this. I'm keeping it simple. I didn't pull out any of the larger stencils just in the interest of saving time and keeping it pretty easy going but uh we all know i love these little patterns on these blocks so I'll just put some of that down for a little pattern going on And still getting some sticking. Jeez. It's because of these are so. All right. So I brought three. So uh, let's go pink on this one. Ooh, bounce it around. This is a different pattern than the one I normally use. And I think it's too small to. There we go. Getting a little bit there. I have to be careful about how much paint I put on there. Okay. So, well, I'm just going to leave you guys on. and I'll hold it away from the microphone to get this dry so I can do the other side. Oh, yeah, I do not like driving on the ice at all. Carla, I am not envying you right now, girl. That's some icky, icky stuff. Dry. I'm go over here. I <laughs> you're a scary California driver. I do say I didn't know that that uh, the truth of that. Uh, I did not learn to drive until I lived in South Carolina. I, I was kind of late bloomer. I didn't learn to drive till 23, and uh, it just doesn't snow that often. But my dad used to always complain about California drivers when we lived any place that it snowed. Um, I've never really driven in the snow because uh, since I learned to drive, I've never really lived anywhere except Ohio where it snows. And uh, I, I couldn't drive when I lived in Ohio, so uh, my ex did all the driving for us. So I really, really never learned. Because the people up there are too confident. Oh my gosh, Georgie, that does not sound good. Well, those are tourists, though. You know, we used to say when I worked in the hotel industry, when people go on vacation, they pack their brains up. In a, and put them nicely in a drawer and leave them at home while they go on vacation. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it can be dangerous. <laughs> and I haven't used wavy lines yet, so let's go with wavy lines.
And uh, what do we want to do? I'll just do wavy lines on the last one, too. Maybe I'll do those in turquoise, the metallic paint. Oh. How's she doing? That's probably the best thing. Yeah, we need sleep to heal. <laughs> so uh, for some of you who may have been in last night's stream and heard the kerfluffle between the dogs, uh, the little one went to the vet, and uh, I'm not sure exactly what they did, but she is wearing the cone of shame and seems to be in relatively good spirits. All right. So... Yes, we've called them that too, but not to their faces. You got to love a good tourist, but uh, um, Ginger and uh, the her son's dog, uh, or, and her son and her son's wife's dog, uh, got into a bit of a kerfluffle last night, and the uh, small dog did not uh, fare all that well in the battle. <laughs> um, it doesn't look like Ginger ever bit the dog. I think the dog just ran into something with her head, and her eye popped a little bit. But she has been to the vet, and she's back home with the cone of shame. Mike and Els are doing just fine. And uh, aside from, you know, obviously uh, the owners of the dog are a little upset because it's their dog. Who wouldn't be upset when their dog's hurt? That's natural. But, uh, you know, got the cone of shame on, seems in relatively good spirits. And, and is sleeping, so, you know, that's... Uh, Usually your body wants lots of sleep when you're healing. So I will do one more quick dry and then we will be on to focal images. We are nearing the end step because I do not doodle. for being late because she was up half the night taking the dog to and from the vet. So she needed the extra sleep. Good morning. <laughs> she grunts at me. She's not fully awake yet. She feels like I felt when I first got up. I'm sure. Only probably with less sleep. I'm trying to art. I don't know that we're getting there, but I am doing my very best. All right. That will be the last of that for today. We can all be thankful for that. It's storming. It's perfect nap weather there. Ooh, headache that won't go away. Icky, icky. So, uh, that is it for the paint. We are done with the painty portion of today. I even got out a nice fresh sponge and I didn't use it. All right, so oh, there's a little glob right there. Let's just get rid of the little glob. So I have decided that the uh, focal images and stuff that I will use today are the leftovers from the previous two rounds. Oh, yeah, my sinuses are a bit crazy, too, but I today I don't have a headache. I had one all day yesterday that felt like somebody put uh, uh, one of those things that they I, I can't even think today. I just felt like somebody was squeezing the top of my head with a giant hand because it was like over the whole top of my head. 
but uh, it's not the same as when you've got the weather stuff that just screws with your sinuses right proper. Oh my goodness. 70s today, 40s tomorrow. That's what happened here earlier this week. Bima's hissing at Curly. So uh, if anybody has any questions up to this point about what's going on with this, um, or shall I just continue on my way? Oof, 23. Uh, let's see what it is here. I'm sure it's higher than the 50s. Let's see. Let's see what my weather thing tells me. It is 43 in Vegas. So we are around 20 degrees warmer than Curly. Thanks, uh, Witchy. Um, so let's just get started with the... I've got some words over here that I'm going to move a little bit because I put them on top of the pictures like a dumbass. And we will just go with the leftovers from the previous uh, ventures. And I think I want the pink sides out and the black sides on the inside cover. So we'll do the black first. Uh, since in round three was the drunken stream, I got some pictures of cocktails to put on here in honor of the drunken portion of this particular book. Thought that might be a little fun for us. Or for me. I don't know that any of you were drinking during my stream, but I was. Which will be the one and only drunken stream I will ever, ever do. One, new voice message. New message. Hey, Josh here. What's that, Josh? So, we'll get these on here. And then we'll move on to some <coughs> other <coughs> images. So this will be our last step for today. I'll even do this because I think it's funny. Actually, I should probably, if this is going to be the inside cover, it'll be like that. So I think that's okay. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Michelle Noel Creations, welcome, welcome, welcome today. How are you doing? All right, now let's do this side. Just glue in away here. Try and find something small. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could do that. 
Oops, I just threw the lid on the floor. That's exciting. <laughs> You're sending me kisses. You do know I don't like to be touched, right? Like you. She's sending you virtual kisses. Oh, all right. I guess those are okay. All right. This may require some extra glue later, but we're doing the best we can. All right. Put that down and we'll put something on top of it. Let's see. Oh my God, you all are just terrible. Yes, Lily is happy and singing her way through the day. She's a pretty happy kid. Although, being an only child, she can have a bit of a temper at times. She's a, <coughs> For three years old, she has a pretty big vocabulary and is incredibly well-spoken. So, I think her parents get some pretty big kudos for that one. And as I said, she's generally a happy child. She sings a lot, which is good. So singing usually means happy for babies. I think I missed something in the station. Here we go. Since we went giant fish, I think we'll go large bee as well. Why not? Okay, so we need a word. Go with this one. Because I think uh, just for sheer ick factor, giant bees could totally take over the world. That would be awfully frightening. getting notifications either about anything when I logged on this morning normally in the morning I get like it just being 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 all over the place this morning when I got on nothing being at all which is very unusual but I was so tired that I it didn't key on me and now that you've said it I realize I really haven't been getting all that many notifications and not for anybody that you know like it's for people I kind of sort of follow that I've been getting notifications, but for the people whose videos I always watch, they're not sending me any of those stinkers. So how do you like them apples? I'm going to use all of these flower images I kept missing in every other <laughs> version of this. We're going to put them all on this one piece right here. These images are the leftovers from all the other rounds that got stuck in an envelope and forgotten about. I found them all today when I was getting prepped for this. So I thought it would be fun to include them. I hate it when YouTube acts like a butt. May only, I think, maybe I'll put one here. If I do one here and one here. Okay, we'll go like that. Well, I just put glue on the side and I think I like this side better. <laughs> well, that's what happens sometimes.
Apparently, I can't glue in chat either. Okay. Ow. Hmm. I guess we'll use this one. All right. I think we have to put this sideways. We will just put it right there. All right. So those are done for today. There's the one side. And the other side. Hi, Monica. And Sandra. How are you lovely ladies doing today? We are right at an hour and we are getting ready to wrap it up because I do not do step number five, which is doodling because I do not like doodling. <laughs> well, it was only two covers and it took me an hour. I don't know if that qualifies as faster. <laughs> but thank you. Um, so this is our last round of journaling by fives. I will not have completed journals to show you by Saturday, but on Saturday at uh, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And that is two, three, four, and five, depending on which time zone you are in. Um, I will be live with a smoosh paper, I think. We'll see how it goes. I got to watch some videos between now and then. Gather up some supplies and see what I can make it happen. Because, uh, let's see, I don't think uh, anybody else has anything going on for the next couple of days. Does anybody in the box have an announcement or a sale or something they're doing that they would like to share with everybody else? Sorry, Sandra. I try and keep it to around an hour. I don't always get there. But, uh, you know, an hour is a pretty long time. Um, Michelle... Noel, let me go up and see if I can find out what you have up there. Yes, I will go to Mixed Media Mashup tonight, uh, provided we are not somewhere else. Uh, in terms of if, because uh, it is uh, Wednesday, so there might be Tuesday morning going on. I do not know. Did you click the little arrow thing to see the message after I messaged you? I did not see any messages from you on uh, Instagram, but I will go check again. I will throw my uh, email down in the box here. Uh, that is my email. Um, and I can pop over to Instagram real quick. Uh, to see if I have any messages. I did go that same day after the stream, and I did not see any messages from you. And then, because I am scatterbrained, I did not think to follow up on that, because I'm a bad, bad person. Uh, whoop, whoop, hold on, I think I might see something there. I see that you started following me, but I don't have any messages from you. Um, maybe I need to be on a mobile device. Uh, make elves buy prima flowers and make her hide them. Uh, I can try. Uh, Instagram. Let me go over there just to make sure I got it. Because I know sometimes on uh, the computer, uh, Instagram doesn't have its full... functionality <coughs> oh let's go back here uh, no I didn't want that Uh, let's see. 
time flies when you're having fun. Um, I like jelly plating, but with plastic covers. Did I miss something? Again? Okay, I don't know what my password is. Uh, hold on. It's making me log in again because I haven't been on here in a while. So I know I just. Um, Oh, nope, not that. Mm -hmm. See if this works. Let's see. Message. Oh, yep, there it is. Hold on. I see one that says you're opening a message for later. So I did. I do have that in there, but I don't have anything else from you. Is that what you wanted to know? So I have viewed that. Now I know for messages, I need to get on my tablet instead of on my computer. Hi, Sherry. Miss Bima. Did Sherry find her here? She's in the stream. Sherry okay. Hagen, that's the paper. Okay. Uh, Miss Sherry, uh, you were in uh, Elsa's sale the other day, weren't you, hon? Okay, so yes, that's me, and I will be sure to check that on a more daily basis. Um, she needs your uh, information. Let me put in her email address. Oh, okay. Bima's putting in her email address for you. Um, she needs your shipping information to fully uh, to figure out the shipping for your uh, package. And, and so that we can get that all ready <laughs> for you. Um, if you could give her a quick email over there with your full shipping address, that would be so amazing and wonderful. Um, so now I know how to, now Michelle knows how to get a hold of me and I know where to go on Instagram to find the messages. I think we are all set. If anybody else has any announcements, I'll leave this for a second and then we're going to get offline because we have now been on for 64 minutes. <gasps> we're four minutes over the hour. Oh no. So I will be on on Saturday at uh, 2 p.m. Pacific time. That's 2 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, and hopefully we'll be doing smoosh paper. And I will say goodbye to you all lovely ladies. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. And however you are spending your time these days, I hope it brings you great joy and happiness. And until I see you next time in one of my streams or in someone else's, I wish you happy crafting. Bye, guys.